What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Guess what? Two weeks to go and guess what else? Prep day. I don't know if you can see that back there, but pretty excited. This actually looks pretty good. We got some oatmeal and eggs, broccoli, chicken twice with some kale and sweet potatoes. That's pretty much what I eat all the time. It's simple, quick. I can throw the chicken on the grill, walk away from it. Don't have to make the house that much of a mess. And you can see, I don't really have all that much of counter space. So cooking on the grill helps a lot. Um, oh, we got competition shorts. I just picked those out uh, yesterday. Put those there. What do you think? Those pro card shorts? You get a pro card in one. Will you get out of there? He's been trying to help me cook. There. You're famous now. All 19 people that watch these videos. Thanks for watching, by the way. I'm sure you get amusement out of them. But, uh, yeah, I'm done cooking. So, I'm going to head to the gym. We'll see you. What's going on guys? Today is Thursday. Also, it's a refeed day for me and I used uh, oatmeal and couscous and quinoa. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've never eaten it before. I'm cooking it right now. It kind of smells like dirt. I'm not excited to eat it at all. But uh, there you go. That, you guys just missed me. Uh, Jump the quinoa all over the table. That was pretty funny. If you saw on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, I put it was it was everywhere, all over the place. Um, but funny story that didn't help me at all. But what I did was um, just to make sure that I was saying this right, I put it into my phone, and uh, I was like, maybe my phone will say it. This it didn't help at all. Listen to this. Quinoa. Quinoa. That doesn't help me at all, but I think it's quinoa. Anyways, it's, it smells like dirt. I'm not excited to eat it, like I said. Um, let's see. Let me get out of here. What else we got going on today? I bought a few things. I bought the selfie stick that charges the GoPro. Give it a shot. It was cheap. Um, if you didn't know this, you know now which I didn't know the first time I did it, but I did do it. Um, you need to prep your skin before you get spray tanned. So I got some scrub and these gloves that'll help me rub my skin off, which is exactly what it feels like. Um, some tanning oil. I'm gonna tan as much as I possibly can and get as dark as I possibly can before I get tanned. Darker is always better. Um, the first show that I did, they told me I needed to go darker, which I didn't understand because I was just as dark as everyone else, and I got tanned by the same person that everybody else did. So I think they're wrong on that one, but hey, whatever. That's what they thought, so I went darker the next time. So if you saw the second show that I did, I was so dark that they uh, nicknamed me Chocolate Kyle. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to get spray tanned again this time, but this time I'm going to get as dark as I possibly can. I've already started, but I'm going to get a little extra boost by the tanning oil. And if you guys also saw on Instagram, I made this not too long ago. You guys see this in, uh, if you watch CT's movies or videos on YouTube, and he's got a movie, um, they use this and it's all this is, it's just a piece of scrap metal that I found and... Uh, TIG welded, which I recently uh, learned how to do, which is pretty cool. I'll show you guys real quick. But I'm going to make an upgraded version. I'm going to throw some pre wrap on there and then put some tape for some little extra grip around there 
Um, I'm not really sure where they got theirs. Somebody probably made theirs. I can't remember if it's chromed or not. But I'm going with these two things. And I finally started, um, I'm two weeks out. Normally you do this like way ahead of time. But I started filling out the paperwork for the shows. Um, the first one's already done. That info is for the second show, which I'm two, no, three weeks out for. And yeah, that's, that's, that's enough. That's fine. That should be enough time. As long as it gets there by the due date, it's good, right? But anyways, I'm going to put some pre-wrap and tape on that, and I'll probably video it and just speed through it and show you the ending so this isn't taking forever. But here we go. There you go, you get the point. There we go. All right, I gotta go. I got a lot of food to eat. A ton of food to eat, which I'm very excited about. Maybe I'll try and mix in the quinoa with the rest of the stuff. Maybe the couscous. Maybe I'll hide it in the couscous. That sounds like a good idea. All right, we'll see ya. Remember how excited I was about refeed day? Well. I had another one yesterday, and I don't want to see another carb for the next refeed day, whenever that is. I was so full, it was ridiculous. I was full from the day before, and then I had another refeed day. If it sounds like I'm complaining, I am. <laughs> I was so full. But anyways, uh, today is Saturday, the last day of... Uh, two weeks out, rolling into peak week, seven days to go, and I'll be on stage. Uh, back and biceps today, gonna start off with some heavy shrugs, do a couple warm-up sets, and then get, get right into it. Uh, I'll video maybe a couple things, the video's already long enough, but uh, yeah, that's it, I'm getting started.
that's it. This is the end of two weeks out. If I could figure out how to do it, I will put in the last part of the video um, so you could click on the pictures and go to the links to my Instagram and the show if you wanted to go to that, get tickets, or just see where it is. It's uh, April 8th, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's the Mr. Anthracite Show. And uh, I'll try to put all that so you can just click on it and it'll just bring you right to it. If not, uh, it'll be in the description box. And I also put uh, my Instagram now right there, somewhere here-ish. Um, that's it. We'll see you guys for peak week number one. One of four. See you guys.